Welcome back everybody to the YouTube channel, the Home Inspection YouTube channel. That's what we should call it from now on. Today we're gonna dive down in my toolbox and I'm going to review one of my favorite flashlights I've owned. It's a it's called the Phoenix PD40R. So this is one of my favorite flashlights because of the type of beam it, it produces. It's a flood type beam. I don't like the concentrated beams because what that does is it can actually hide and blind you from certain things. It can knock out water stains, most importantly, if it's a concentrated beam. But the flood beam, it can cover an entire ceiling area and it will actually highlight those yellow stains that a yellow light will, uh, like a yellow light bulb will hide. So a yellow light bulb can actually hide water stains. Interesting fact for you. But anyways, let's break it down into it. There's five settings on this. There's a 20 lumen, which you'll probably never use in the field as a home inspector. 100 lumen, not really still. 350, that's pretty good. And normally you're gonna operate in the thousand lumen range because that will light up an entire attic. I mean like, it'll just bright it up and we'll show you in the video here soon. And then there's also a 3000 lumen button on this. The 3000 lumen, I've had this flashlight for a year, doesn't even work anymore. So if you buy this for a 3000 lumen setting, do not purchase this flashlight because it worked pretty well for I'd say a month, maybe two. And then after a while, the battery just couldn't handle it anymore. You're gonna have to replace your battery pretty often because that 3000 lumens will eat it up. Also, it gets very hot in a very short period of time when you're operating in the 3000 lumen range. So you need to, probably gonna operate in the 1000 lumen range most of the time. So, and even at the 1000 lumen, uh, whenever you're operating it, it will stay pretty consistent. Uh, but I would say around 10 minutes, the flashlight starts to get pretty hot too, but not enough to burn you. You can still use it pretty often. Uh, so really the main purpose of this flashlight, the main, really the only reason why I like it is the battery life and the beam that it produces. There are pretty good negative things to it. Um, pretty good negative things, is that even a thing? But there are some negative things to this flashlight that I wish could be improved. Uh, starting with the buttons. The buttons are very confusing. Uh, whenever you're first getting it, getting it. So whenever you're using it, you use these little buttons right here. If this is sitting in your pocket, it activates super easily. I mean, like you hit the button and you can hit in the face, it'll be hit, heating up in your pocket. Uh, you'll be driving your car if you keep your flashlight in your pocket like I do. But if it's in your toolbox, a tool can hit it very easily and just drain your whole flashlight battery, which is super annoying. Uh, there are strobe settings on this. I'm not a big fan of strobe, but for, this is built for police officers, so uh, strobe set, or self-defense, and the strobe settings do work. Uh, they work really well, actually. So, um, so you got several settings here. So you got the the 20 lumen, the uh, 100, 350, 1000, and then the 3000. And you can see it's already dimming down as I'm using it. So. Uh, the 3000 lumen barely, barely works on this flashlight. Uh, so don't buy it if you want that 3000 beam for a long period of time. Uh, so a few things about the flashlight, it's pretty easy to operate. Uh, it has a USB charger piece in the back. It uses that Android charger. If you can see right there, it only takes less than an hour to charge it all the way up. Most of the time I've noticed, noticed. I mean, probably even less than 30 minutes. So if I forgot to charge my flashlight, I just throw it in the wall real quick or plug it in in my truck. And by the time I get to my job, it's it's up and running. The uh, next thing is it's fairly easy to open. I don't open this ever, but the way it's built, so we're gonna test this today, it's supposed to be waterproof. So I'm gonna drop it in some water and uh, see how that goes. Uh, I hope it survives because I really like this flashlight. If not, to go find something else. Um, and then I'm gonna throw it and drop it. Uh, because as home inspectors, we're on roofs, you want your flashlight to survive a roof fall. So I'm gonna drop it off a roof and let it land on grass and I'll let, even let it hit the concrete. I'm pretty nervous about that one. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, there's not much you can really break down a flashlight. There's a lot of people out there with like 30 minute videos. So let's just take this in the attic, show you the different beams then we'll uh, do the drop test and then we'll do the waterproof test last to see if it survives. And if it survives, 
I would recommend this flashlight. <laughs> I'd recommend it if you're not going to drown it in water and I have two others sitting on my desk. So I'll probably just replace it, but it is good to know if it, if it can survive this or not. All right. Uh, let's go check it out. Okay. In the attic space, you can see it's kind of dark. I have some ambient light coming from the, um, the attic hatch. I guess I could close it. Not really necessary because you're really going to have this in most cases when you're in the attic space as a home inspector. So um, one thing I forgot to say about this flashlight too is it will save whatever setting you were on last. So if you're on thousand lumen setting and you want to make sure that it opens back up into the thousand lumen setting, all you do is hold it down and it will open back up. See that was on the 3000 setting and it's already dropping again and it will go back from that setting. So right here, let's uh, shine the flashlight back there and start with the 20 lumens and just bump it up. All right, so there you go. That's wow, that's pretty bright for 20 lumens. You can see pretty far back there. It looks actually better on the camera than I can actually see it back there. Then you have uh, the, the 100, 350, 1000. That's what I normally like to sit around and 3000. Wow, you can see that thing. It lights up the whole attic space, which is pretty cool. So again, 20. 100, 350, 1,000, 3,000. Dang, look at that. So pretty easy to operate. And if you're shooting video like me, I always put it on the 1,000 setting and uh, shine the ceiling. It breaks back down and gives perfect lighting in the attic space. So um, easy uh, test for the flashlight. I like this beam. You can see it's very, I guess, bloody, you would say. <laughs> And then um, let me uh, take it outside and start to drop it. We were going to do the drop test first, but I was worried about compromising the uh, waterproofing integrity of the flashlight. So we are going to uh, put it in the sink you know, while we're testing it. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So we'll turn the light on and uh, we'll fill up the sink a little bit and see if it just stays on. I really hope this doesn't break. I don't really drop this in, in the, the flashlight too, in water too often. This kind of makes me nervous. It's like what, $140 flashlight. So, hey, let's just dump it in water. Why not? Here we go. Staying on. It's not flickering or anything. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, so with the drop test, what we're going to do is off this one story roof, we're going to just climb up the ladder and we're going to drop it once in the grass to see if it survives. And then we're going to drop it on the sidewalk to see if it survives. We'll test it both times and then uh, uh, we'll do the throw test. Not that you're throwing your flashlight, but hey, if it works, you want to buy it, right? <laughs> all right, so, all right, so uh, the grass test, roof level up. Uh, that's a weak test. But, uh, turn on, right? Yep, still works. All right, this is when some. I'm going to do it with a uh, glass lens down. Uh. By the way, commercial break. If you like this content, please hit that subscribe button below and uh, the like button, and then tell us what tool you would like us to, to test next, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh man, we should get some B-roll of that too. Yeah. We'll, we'll drop it twice. <laughs> Yeah, it's still, still working. We got a little bit of a nick there, not too bad. We'll do it again. Round two. So you want to get it hit in the ground? See, it's like, yeah. All right, I'll try it. Ready? Oh, that was a weak test. We'll do it again. Oh, 
All right, here we go. Still works. All right. I don't know if the throw test is necessary after that. That's a pretty good one. I mean, it still works pretty well. I'll let you, we'll do a follow up maybe on our Instagram ch channel to see how it survives. I'm doing a home inspection after this and I plan on vlogging the video. So if it survives for that home inspection after dropping it in water and dropping it off the roof, I think it's a pretty good deal. All right, so that's Chris with A Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call. And please, if y'all like this flashlight, y'all can go to our webpage. We'll drop the tool list below and this same flashlight is on our tool list and you can purchase it through that link right there. All right, cool. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Check, catch you on the next one.